Hello again. I dare say that many viewers have heard the grumbling about the fact that the women playing for England yesterday in the football game were mostly blue-eyed and had fair hair. This, it is suggested, means that they do not represent modern England and something should be done about it. I give a couple of uh, pieces from newspapers in the description to this video on this subject. There are two points to consider here. And the first is that nobody ever says anything of the kind about men's football teams in this country, despite the fact that none of them have any players of South Asian heritage, nobody of Pakistani, Indian or Bengali ancestry. There are more Asians uh, like that in Britain than there are black people, and yet nobody ever notices their absence in our professional football teams. The reason for this is, of course, very simple. It is because words like diversity and inclusion really mean nothing more than that there are not enough black people in some enterprise or other. Never mind Indians or Chinese people or Jews, it is only those of African heritage you count when you are reckoning up the diversity. Nobody talks of this out loud, but we know that that's how things work. The second point is, of course, that it is not enough that the black people in some team, company, film, school or profession should reflect the proportion actually present in Britain. There must be at least four or five times as many black people as a percentage in society in order to avoid complaints about lack of diversity. Roughly 4% of people in Britain are black. The England women's team has nine white players and two black ones. This means the team is roughly 20% black. That is to say black people are represented at five times their proportion in the population, but this is not enough. To make it acceptably diverse, it really needs to have twice as many black players so that the black people are overrepresented by ten times the percentage in society as a whole. That is to say before people will be properly satisfied and stop complaining about the lack of diversity. We need, therefore, to ask ourselves two questions. First, why does diversity only mean black people? Why are there no demands that professional football teams in this country should be more diverse because they do not have Pakistanis or Chinese people in them? Secondly, why is it that the proportion of black people is unacceptable unless it is at least five or ten times as great as the proportion of black people in the population? This is strange. A third question might of course occur to died in the war white supremacists, and that is this. Why can't we forget about ethnicity and race entirely and make membership of our football teams, both men and women's teams, dependent entirely upon skill at playing football? I realise that this is a dangerous and radical point of view, but I think that following the complaints about there being too many blue-eyed women in the England squad, it is a question that quite a few people are muttering to themselves.